A few years ago, a beehive moved onto my garage and I bought my kids bee suits so they could safely discover bees. This episode of Hood Geographic is about my 25 year harmonious relationship with a hive of bees that's directly next to my shop. This is such a cool beehive that you can even have your lunch right beneath the beehive. And in 25 years, there's never been an incident. Now back to my kids in their bee suits. Now this happened right after the bee movie. But my kids had on their protective bee suits and they were looking at the bees. And my daughter goes, hey dad. My son goes, dad, look, the bees are falling on the ground and they're dying. But I had noticed it years before and I just thought that when the bees were dying at the hive near my shop, I was thinking that it was just a natural occurrence because their lifespan is so short. And then the bee movie came out and this incident with my kids in their little bee suits, I realized that the bees had a big problem. Apparently the bees had a cancer and I'm using that word in its true form. You know, I remember back reading about how scientists were in on it, trying to find out what's going on and what's killing the bees. So for the past year, I started to notice the beehive again. And what I noticed is that the bees had completely stopped dying. And I also noticed that there was more zig to their zag, almost like they were super bees. And I have been noticing bees all my life, a bee enthusiast. And I have never seen bees move like these. Almost like a sweat bee. And it looks like nature cured them of this cancer. And I would guesstimate that it took nature about 20 years to cure them of this cancer. Thus making them super bees compared to the bees that they were when they had cancer. So I was thinking, how long would it take nature to cure humans of all the cancers and diseases that we have today? Bees live for an average of 45 days. That's 8.1 bee life cycles in a year. It took about 20 years for nature to cure these bees of the cancer that they had. That would be 162 bee life cycles to become cancer free. Now, what if we apply the same 162 life cycles to humans for nature to cure humans of all the cancers and diseases that we have today? It will take over 12,000 years when you consider that the average lifespan of a human being is 75 years. So in 12,000 years, we will be superhumans compared to the humans that we are today. Nature is resilient, brilliant, and progressive. It always strives to put out the best product for the world in which we live. Please don't take any of this as fact. This is nothing more than my curiosity. But unlike animals, humans have the ability to think, learn, discern, evaluate, study, and help Mother Nature out by doing things faster. And to me, it's just more proof that humans were given dominion of this earth to make things better for all of its inhabitants. I'm just so glad that my bee neighbors are doing really well right now. 25 years, no incidents with the bees, but we do have Murphy's Law. And if you notice, this beehive is located directly across the street from the Quick Fix Collision Center. Now that these bees are super bees, if you were to collide with these bees, trust me, you're going to need a quick fix.